Chapter 3. The Silk Weaver. Jack and Annie kept walking across the pasture toward the road. Annie stopped when they neared the farmhouse. We have to find the Silk Weaver and give her the message, she said. Let's do that on our way back, said Jack. I'm worried about finding the Imperial Library. What if we don't have time, said Annie. We promised, and he was so nice. Jack sighed. <sighs> okay, but let's find her fast, and remember to keep your head down so no one will notice us. Jack and Annie bowed their heads as they headed toward the house. As they got closer, Jack peeked out from under his hat. An ox pulled a cart filled with hay. Men hoed the ground. Women pushed wheelbarrows piled high with grain. There, said Annie. She pointed to an open porch where a young woman was weaving cloth on a loom. That must be her. Annie ran to the silk weaver. Jack looked around to see if anyone was watching. Luckily, all the farm workers seemed too busy to notice anything. Still looking around carefully, Jack walked toward the porch. Annie was already talking to the silk weaver. What did he say? The young woman asked. Her voice was soft but strong. Her eyes glowed with happiness. He said you should meet him in the field at twilight, said Annie. He's so handsome. Yes, he is. The silk weaver gave Annie a shy smile. Then she reached down to a basket near her loom and picked up a ball of yellow thread. It was very brave of you to bring the message, she said. Please accept this silk thread as my thank you. She handed Annie the beautiful ball of silk. It's beautiful, Annie said. Feel. She handed it to Jack. The thread was smooth and soft. How do you make silk, said Jack. It's made from the cocoons of, a, of silkworms, said the weaver. Really? Worms? That's neat, said Jack. Let me write that down. He reached into his sack. Please don't, said the silk weaver. The making of silk in China is China's most valuable secret. Anyone who steals the secret will be arrested. The Dragon King will have you put to death. Oops, said Jack. He dropped the ball of silk into his sack. I think you must leave quickly, whispered the silk weaver. You have been seen. Jack looked over his shoulder. A man was pointing at them. Let's go, he said. Bye, said Annie. Good luck on your date. Thank you, said the silk weaver. Come on, said Jack. They hurried away from the silk weaver. Stop! Someone shouted. Run, said Annie.